Okay, I thought I'd do a really quick book review on the book that I just finished, which is called The Sugar Queen. It won't be a very long one. I'll just tell you all about it. Um, I give this five out of five stars because it was really brilliant. It, like, it was one of my favorite books of the whole year. Um, when I started it, it was very slow, but I think that was because I was reading a few more books at the same time. So once I got rid of those books, um, I was able to start this one. Um, a few things to mention about this, the characters are really great, like they have their own personality traits and they set aside from each other char um, other characters and um, yeah. Uh, I liked Chloe because she was um, really into books and books followed her and that has a really great story. And I think all these characters have a really great, um, their own stories as well embedded in the book and it just makes it that much more interesting. Um, the part that really pissed me off about this book was um, Margaret, which is the main character's mother, and she reminded me a lot of, not a lot of, but there were some traits of her that reminded me of my own family in some ways, but not entirely. Like, she is just extreme. So, yeah. Um, and Adam and Jake are interesting characters. Um, the... There's another character called Dudley, and she is um, hiding in Josie's uh, wardrobe, and like she's hiding in there, and you think that she's just staying it, but the ending is just brilliant. Like it was, I didn't see it coming until about page 330, which is like 10 pages off, or a little bit maybe before that, but. I did not see it coming. There are so many like surprises and twists and turns in this book, which just made it that much more interesting. It was just uh, I had to stop a few times because I was tired. But um, last night I wanted to read through the rest of it. I had about 50 pages left to read, and I I got to the point where I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I have to read this right through to the end. But I got too tired. So it's one of those books that just keeps you reading. Just it was amazing. Um, it it would be for teenagers, I think. Like it's not that heavily into anything sexual or anything like that. Like it suggests that I th it is. Um, I think an adult book, but teenagers can read it too because there's nothing in it that I wouldn't suggest would be in any other book nowadays. Like. You know, I mean, it doesn't describe it or anything like that, so that was um, one good thing. Uh, there is one one quote that I found in the book that which pretty much sums the whole thing up for me. Just one second. Because, of course, I have my writer's uh, reading notebook. This is what um, one of the characters said in the book, and I thought that it really said a lot about the book itself. It's... The dynamics of the relationships in the town are fascinating, which, mean, which means that, what am I saying? Um, I just thought that was very true. Like, there is so much about the relationships in the town that make it just, you just want to read on. It was, it's hard to describe this book because I, I don't find it very easy to say bad things about books, but I don't find it very easy to say good things about books. <laughs> but... You never see things coming, at least I didn't see things coming, um, especially some plot turns and things like that. I just I did not see them coming. Um, I did like the little details, the cute little details about um, each character, like Josie and her, um, her. you find out she has a secret cupboard that has uh, candy in it and books in it, which is really cute and like Chloe with her books and really um, Sarah Addison Allen who is awesome has really done a great job with this book I mean um, it was just amazing I can't stop saying it was amazing but it was and that's the cover and this is the font you can see it's very big um, it's 342 pages long um, like I said, a lot, I connected with this book a lot. Like, it is one of those books that you read and you 
it can at least connect with one character, not if not most of the characters. And I think it's a really good book as well to not teach people but share that um, it is okay to live the life that you want to live. You don't have to live and suffer. Like the character really does suffer. I feel for her so much and while I wasn't really suffering that much in my childhood, I I know what um, it's like how my childhood brought up at most points. And yeah, um, I'm not very good at reviewing right now. I'm quite not tired. I just I can't think of the right things to say for it. But I will have my um, review up on my blog, which I'll add to the video and if you guys want me to make a, another video again about it um, or tell you anything about this book besides go out and buy it or borrow it or do anything to get it because it is just brilliant I mean even men can read it I mean it's a romance novel but it's not like a Mills and Bloom sort of romance novel but yeah, it's just really great so if you guys want to know anything about it um, just let me know and I will tell you all about it. I'm quite happy to because I really love this book. Um, I'm not sure when I'll be making more videos because I have um, a cap for my internet. So, um, yeah, so that's that. And I started a new book today, which is called Two Shanes. And I might do a review on that too, um, or a video on it, and then review it as well. So I'm sorry about the video being a little bit dodgy, um, but yeah, anything you really want to know about the book, it, I can fill it in my blog and I can fill it in with you guys if you want to send a message to me and I'll tell you anything about it. Um, yeah, but just really read it. If you can get your hands on it, read it. Like I said, it's five out of five for me, which is very rare because usually I give a three or four and there's very rarely a book that I give a five for. I hope you enjoyed my video and I will talk to you later. Bye.